Hey guys, Krata here. Um, today I'm going to show you how to uh, run Mac OS X Snow Leopard on your uh, computer, on your Windows PC. So um, the files sh uh, you will need to uh, get this done will be in the description. Um, so uh, the files you will need um, are uh, VirtualBox 4.0.4 for, uh, for Windows. So just uh, go to this link will be in the description and click on this install virtual box and you're done with that uh, you also need WinRAR uh, and um, uh, BitTorrent uh, I prefer BitTorrent uh, over uTorrent so please download uh, BitTorrent um, then you will need the uh, Snow Leopard ISO file so just go to uh, this site will be in the it will be in the description uh, you will get to uh, to the home page, it will look like this then you click on the download tab and you scroll down until you see um, Snow Leopard 10.6.1 uh, hyphen 10.6.2 blah 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 um, uh, then you uh, see right here you see uh, download Snow Leopard 10.6.1 blah 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 torrent uh, I prefer the torrent uh, since it's a lot faster than uh, the rapid share link so just download the torrent you will have it uh, I had the torrent within within minutes so um, well then you're good to do, good to go um, so when your torrent is done uh, downloading downloading uh, you will see right here snow leopard 10.6.1 just open containing folder you will see it's a winrar file so what you want to do is uh, it will be an ISO file in there so just extract it wherever you want. I've extracted here, extracted it in my download folder. So um, yeah, right here, you'll see the ISO file. <clears throat> so when that's in place, um, just start up your virtual box. So when you started up your virtual box, it will look um, like this. You won't see OS X right there. Um, that is an earlier uh, Mac I've installed to test it out. You know. So um, uh, what you want to do is click right here in the left, uh, t in the top left corner on New. Uh, click Next. Uh, name it Mac or OS X, um, and it will automatically change to Mac OS X or M version Mac OS X server. Just leave it like that and click Next. Then you can choose your RAM, of, or uh, choose the amount of, ma uh, of RAM you want to um, <coughs> to get in your um, virtual PC or Mac. Um, well, I have eight. I have eight gigs of RAM, so I can easily give it three gigs. So yeah, just give it three gigs. Click next. Um, then you will have to uh, create a hard disk. Um, leave it like this. Boot hard disk and create new hard disk. Click on next. Click on next. You want to choose dynamically expanding storage. You can also choose fixed size storage. It will improve your. Um, your performance a bit in your virtual in your virtual machine, but um, uh, it will um, it will get uh, 20 gigs of your physical uh, hard drive. So just leave it on dynamically. It will work fine. So now you can choose the amount of gigs you want on your hard drive. I'm just going to choose 30 gigs and click next. Finish. Finish. Okay, so there it is, your virtual machine. Then you want to go straight into settings, click on system, uh, your base memory, you can change it again if you want. You see enable EFI, you want to uh, uncheck that box, otherwise it won't work. Here you can choose the amount of processors you want, acceleration, go play with that if you want. Um, I won't recommend it, um, it will work fine without so uh, then you click on display and you want to change your video memory to 128 MB then you go into storage you click on empty right beneath uh, IDE controller you click on this setup uh, the virtual CD DVD drive and you want to choose the ISO you've just downloaded the Snow Leopard uh, Snow Leopard ISO so in my case it's uh, right here Snow Leopard ISO uh, blah 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 so open click OK and you're ready to boot your virtual machine so just click on start and it will start your virtual box 
then you get something like this just hit enter on your keyboard and it will boot your uh, Mac OS X installation so then you're here on this screen just click choose your English uh, your English just choose your language Jesus um, then press next click continue uh, press agree then go into utilities disk utility and you right want to right click your uh, hard disk right there and click on erase because you want to uh, format your uh, hard disk so then you click uh, you uh, click again on erase and again on erase and it will erase your hard disk um, just wait for that to finish exit out and you will see your hard disk right there click it on oh, no, oh, no, sorry 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 no no it's okay so just click it uh, continue uh, then you want to click on customize very important and you want to choose um, both of these on top uh, then you open bootloaders Intel only um, so only for Intel uh, and you want to choose the newest chame uh, chameleon um, uh, bootloader uh, so that's okay then you go to kernels and you want to choose the legacy kernel if you don't have an uh, uh, i7 processor you want to read this if uh, if this applies to you so you'll read that don't use this kernels on C2D and i7 processors I have i7 processors so I'm not going to use this um, so I'm going to use the Intel Atom uh, kernel only if you don't have I, only if you have i7 processor so then um, yeah then you're basically good to go let's have a look if I didn't forget anything no. now it's uh, now you're done so just click on done and install you can skip this uh, if you want because um, this does nothing it only takes more time for your installation so just click skip and I will be back with you when it's done installing okay so when you're um, done with installing it you will see a, a screen that looks like this so what you want to do is click on restart and it will reboot kind of just wait for a second so what you want to do in the meanwhile is click on the disk icon right here R right click it with your right mouse button remove disk from uh, the thing <laughs> I don't, didn't know what to say so just click on force unmount and you will see a screen that looks like this press on the arrow the down arrow and you want to click on boot just no, not click just click on um, enter press on enter jeez so wait for a second and you'll see it start booting so you need to give it a moment um, I will come back when you when it's done okay so when it's done uh, loading you'll come to this screen and you'll notice that the sound and everything works fine so just choose your language uh, for your uh, country you're in. Uh, I'm in the Netherlands. Yeah. Just click on that. Continue. Dutch. Continue. Do not transfer my information. Continue. Uh, just enter your Apple ID. Is it necessary? Continue. Can I press continue? Yeah. Continue. Uh, your full name. Uh, password whatever you like um, okay so just create your account continue connecting to Apple talking with Apple uh, select your time zone mine is set properly so continue and we'll say thank you how nice So, 
and then it boots your freshly installed Mac OS X uh, Leopard. So I will show you it is the Snow Leopard version in just a moment. So right now it's booted. Uh, it works pretty fine. Um, okay. <laughs> ah, forgot your keyboards, of course. So press next to the shift button. I so done. Okay. So let's show to you guys. Uh, that this is the right version. System profiler. Okay, so here you can see all your th uh, things you just edited in settings from your uh, virtual box. So you'll see your processor speed to memory you've added. I added 3 gigs, like I said. Um, software, you can see Mac OS X 10.6.2. If you want another tutorial, like uh, how to update it to 10.6.4, uh, please say say so in the comments or private message or anything so I can uh, do that for you guys because I won't make a tutorial if no one is interested um, yeah I hope this helped you guys out um, please comment rate and subscribe